Welcome everyone, my name is Tiffany, I'm the Tipsy Artist, and we're going to be painting this very cute and kind of comical, silky chicken today. So she is a lot of fun, and we're going to talk about the first steps here. We've made it very easy and fun for beginners. We also have the whole painting kit for you on our website, tipsyartist.com. You can just order that and you can have everything shipped to your door and just paint along with us here with this online class. So let's talk about the transfer process first. So we have the traceable that we have for you. We have the transfer paper, and then we also have the canvas. And I always start with just the transfer paper, and I only take up at the very top here. So again, just one or two uh, strips are just fine here to secure it at the top. And dull gray side faces up, shiny black side faces your canvas. And again, you want to leave all this other section free and clear to be able to move and check your work as you go. Then I go ahead and center the traceable on top here. And again, only tape up here at the top so it's all secure, won't shift during the process. All right, and then we have a lovely pencil here. And I'm going to use this. I'll basically just trace over every single line that is there. And when I do that, then it works with the transfer paper and it makes an impression on our canvas. So then that is what you're left with. So we're finished with that. I did work ahead a little bit. So we'll go ahead and rip that off. Alright, so now we have a wonderful start here. Now, um, we did provide a permanent marker in the kit for y'all. So I think it's helpful for some of this to go ahead and do a hard line. This is optional, but it does help all your work stay intact because it will bleed through the paint a little bit. So it's very nice for beginners so that you don't lose your work. Little black right there. People, flecks of light there, a little guide. And the rest of this can be kind of left raw since it's going to be um, a little bit softer with the painted look, but I want to make sure we keep that face in place there. All right, so let's talk about all the supplies that we have. Uh, so we've got, we want to make sure our bucket of water is nearby. And that's about the only thing that doesn't come in the kit. So you want to make sure you get water. And then you've got your paint kit nearby. This comes with it. Your napkins, your plates. Um, here is your family of brushes that will be shipped to you. So this is Mama. And then this is Little Buddy. And then this is Little Bit. Of course, you've got your pencil and your, your uh, permanent marker over there. I've been painting a lot today, so I've got a little bit of a head start on my paint. A lot of that nearby here. Alright, but to begin with, we're going to do a little bit of a light wash um, around the background here. So, I'll start with my titanium white. So, I've already got quite a bit of that here nearby. And then I also, um, let's use a little bit of our Viridian. This is a really pretty color. And with your paint being brand new, you will have to peel off a little bit of a silver foil lining there that protects the paint. Place that back in there. Let's grab a little bit of some water. And I'm mixing up, this is my Viridian and my white. And you know, I had a little bit, this is primary cyan blue. We had that out earlier. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little tiny touch of that as well. So a little dollop of that too. So this is going to create a really nice little like turquoise. I want to make it really, really light. white to that. Looks like a real soft, like sea foam color there now. So we'll start to push this into the background. Okay. 
And you can add a little bit of water to it too to help help it look like more of like a wash over the top. So we just want a little bit of that coming in through the back down there. So get a little bit of water and then more of that like sea foam color that we mixed up. it a little bit translucent also make sure we can still see our trays kind of peeking through there a little bit more water here on this side rinse out so firm circles here a little bit of firm pressure and then test till it runs clear and then dry it off on the paper towel all right so we're going to go ahead and do a little beat here too and we're going to mix up some more of this brown so let's talk about how to do that so we have our cadmium orange and we have our mars black so we're going to take some equal parts of that, so the orange and the black, we're going to mix those two together. That's going to make a brown. And then you can add a little bit of white to it, it can make a lighter brown. So this will make a nice deep color here. little bit brush. This is the smallest brush that you have. Right, so we have a pretty beak now. Let's rinse out. All right, next up we have got some from earlier. So let's talk about these. We've got some primary magenta. We'll do a dollop of that. And then also cadmium red. Do it off with that. I still have mine from earlier. So here's my primary magenta. Here's my cadmium red. I'm just going to mix equal parts together. And then we're going to go ahead and place this into that fun little gobbler here. Grab a little bit of water to make that paint a bit more fluid. Touch of white. And a tiny touch 
touch of white, just kind of run that through there. For a soft little blend. Starting to look fun. And I'm using more of the flat side of the brush here, holding it more over to the side. Get better coverage in there. That is looking really cute. Right, next step, we're going to do just some black. Still using a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and do ooh, too much water. Actually, let's take our napkin and just do a light touch and lift that right off. That could be a bit of a problem. A little bit of water is okay, but that was a big drop of water. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and work into the eye here. Just like that. show you a technique with the flash points. So I'm going to go ahead and cover over those with a bit more for like reference. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of the brown again. And we're just going to do a little ring of that around the eyes. A little bit of brown color there. It was pretty subtle. Let's go ahead and bring that a little closer to you so you can see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the end of the brush, I'm going to dip into the white, and then I'm going to make some flash points, and we're going to have this guy kind of be looking over here to the side. It's kind of fun. All right. So now we can start to work on those fun little feathers. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to a bigger brush. This is our mama brush. And we've got our brown mix from earlier, so we can make a little bit more of that if we want to. So I'm going to take some more orange and our black. We're going to mix that together. A little bit more white. So we'll be going back and forth between this black and white to make some gray and the white and then a little bit of brown. And we'll just start coming out here, making some of those big strokes first. Basically getting a nice bit of shadow in there. I'll grab a little bit more water to make the paint be a little bit more fluid and flow into See how it's kind of very peekaboo and almost like a dry brush. So a little bit more water. Now, see that really helped. That added a little bit more um, coverage, so it helped that, that water helped that paint kind of flow into the pores of the canvas there.
So it's looking a little bit dark at first, but I haven't started working in all the white, so that's going to start to change pretty dramatically the look here. to the side and grab one of our white and our black. Take some of this dark gray shadow. And my sweet daughter is texting right now and saying that she loves me so 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 much. That's that little fun dingy ding. We're doing a little bit of this Black and white makes gray, so again it's Mars black, titanium white. white now. So lots more white is going to really start to add some really nice definition. And I'm going to I need to answer a question really quick. She's asking me Under a little cute picture of this, too. Let's see, you can see. <laughs> Include you in the conversation. So that was Miss London, my lovely daughter. All right, we're gonna start to push in a lot of white. We could go over to the sides here. See, it's really starting to look good now. It's got lots of the thick feathers coming in. It's like a wild, crazy hair day. So lots of repetition on this. Just feel how it really starts to build the layers here. And I'm getting really close into some smaller details, so I need to, if I switch over to a much smaller brush, but I'm going to go ahead and do the base of this body here, like a different stroke. So I'm using, I'm still using Mama, but I'm using more the flat side of the brush. It's not as textural. So I'll work this around. For the, that's where the neck would be. Around that. And now I'm going to do little tiny bits of this viridian. 
sea foam that we had mixed up. Kind of fun to sprinkle that in a little bit. bigger sweeps of this white out into the far outer parts of the feathers. Scrape off the excess there. We're going to go ahead and let him rest in the water just a wee bit. Now let's come in with a much smaller brush. This is a little bit. And we just need to do some smaller details. We're really close to the eyes here. So I'm going to work in. I push in a little bit of this black and the white for the charcoal. Do little baby strokes here. Circle around the eye here just to help define it with that charcoal and then and then we'll start to do some more little feathery strokes outside of that. So there's the outside and then So we still have this little bit of like, negative white space coming in around here. thick on the edge, so I'm going to do a little bit of a twist to get that thin back out. Maybe just a touch of water, and then again, twist so it's really tiny, and I can look into this really small space. this little section.
It's looking really cute. I'll do a little bit more defining around my little beak here. So I'm going to do just a touch of water. And then we'll get some of this black here. Then we're going to do a little bit of a white accent here. Let's just water out. Just a little bit of the white. Just going to round that down in front of the beak there. And do a little bit more of that lighter brown. little bit of a shadow. And I'm just going to take a look, just make sure I don't want any more little sections of black coming through. And I'm just white. I'm going to do one more little line of black here. Get this water out. You know what? Thank God that didn't hurt that much. <laughs> I'm just like, hello, Grace. I'll just kind of work that back in. I always say there are no mistakes, only possibilities. I just made some possibilities. Okay, so let's grab a little bit more of this light brown here. Circles in the eyes. And then come back into the black. Just kind of mix that in softly. Mix that in. It's real dark brown eye. Alright, so we are good. I think we're getting really close to being done here. I'm going to do one more little tiny accent of white. Tiny little line there. A tiny little line here. Alright, so this is just a real fun, kind of silly 
silky chicken head. It's very therapeutic, very easy and fun, has a lot of personality. And there you go. And then you can just sign your masterpiece here in the bottom corner. If it is nice and dry, then you can do it with your permanent marker here too. So I think it makes it a little bit easier since it's much tinier. And ta-da, there you go. Very fun. All right, so again, everything that you need to paint this really cute silky chicken is on our website at tipsyartist.com. And we'll provide the link below. And we sure appreciate you painting with us. And we'll see you again very, very soon. Y'all have a beautiful day. Much love to y'all. Toodles.